Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's my intro for here, and welcome back to Valkyria Revolution. As last time, we continued on chapter, or I guess it wouldn't be so much chapter as it so much is, uh, I guess section finale, however you want to look at it as, as we began Operation Savior Song. Save your song. You have, have, you gotta make sure you have the full thing there. It's it's Operation Savior song, not Operation Savior. Oh, that'd be more epic sounding, to be uh, to be honest. You know, in my opinion. But yeah, we began the mission. We head on our way here to Sebast. Fought a few battles, defeated a few grand generals, and now we are at the finale. So that being said, if you want to see everything that has led up to this point. Make sure to go check out the previous six videos in the description's playlist down below. And with that said, today, this is it. Our final battle. And this time, that phrase is actually fitting. Because this should be the final battle in the great war between us, the Fire Traders, against the Rose Army. All that's left standing in our way is the Valkyria. Yay. Well... I guess it's time to get into things. Of course, though, if you guys remember from last time, I uh, was saving one particular thing for uh, for today, and that was the squad mates. How you doing? Looks like they each have something to talk about. So, what do you say we go visit each of them for one final mini conversation and then head on to the final battle? Starting off here with Daryl. Looks like our extermination of Reapers finally coming to a close. A lot's happened, but all's well that ends well. Let's finish this with a bang! Right, Captain? Yeah, Daryl? Good way to build that prep nice work. That pep spirit. Once everything's over, mind joining me to see my son? Please let me introduce you to him properly, as my captain. Aw, uh, sure. I didn't even know you had a son, Jordan. That's... I guess it makes sense, but... I don't know, it's really surprising. Uh, yeah, it's the Lane of Bloom. Nice. Hey, look, he's got some nerve. Make, making us wait like this. He's just trying to mess with our heads. <laughs> nice try, Valkyria. I <laughs> uh, love that always peppy spirit. Bloom? This is it. After we fight the Valkyria, it'll all be over. Let's do this, Captain. <laughs> I'm gonna count on you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Your leadership is why someone as lazy as me even got this far. Let's end this. No more jokes until we've won. Alright then. Very nice. If we each have our own reasons for fighting, and if they are different, our end goal is the same. It's for the country's sake. The past, the present, and even the future exists because our homeland still stands. That's why I'll fight. We will fight, and we will win. Yay! You okay there, Captain? Let me know if things get too crazy. No matter what happens, we'll always be on your side. We all really do love you, you know? Aw, that's sweet. That'd mean much more if it weren't the fact of, you know, there's the next conversation. Hmm. <sighs> well, uh, <coughs> I have to admit you've done rather well for a commoner. Now, now, no need to thank me for acknowledging your efforts. With my brains and your brawn, we can't lose now. Captain. Aw, thank you, he's finally gone around somewhat. <sighs> and then finally, since we can't talk to Miranda without being in the mission, Ophelia. I've not given it up yet, Hamlet. There must be some other way, without resorting to that potent cure-all you proposed. For now, however, I'll focus only on beating the Valkyria. <sighs> yeah, and I think we all know what me? this little, uh, for better or worse cure-all is. Surely I'm not the only one who knows what this is. Or at least has an idea of what it is. Well, let's hope I'm wrong, and maybe you guys are wrong too, you, you never know. But alright, it's time. Final battle, begin. Our army is gaining leverage! The Imperial Capital is right in front of us. All our remains is to defeat the Valkyria once and for all. We can do it, Captain. The power of the Savior's song. The lady's magical melody. This war is as good as one. As always, it speaks to the requisitions officer if you need supplies. They'll offer you anything you want. And sure enough, I've cleared out my inventory. So now... We're ready! Our final team, then. 
Probably gonna get knocked out pretty quickly, but who cares? This is my final roster. Amlet, Ophelia, of course, are on duty. It's their show. Of course, they gotta be the good old captains for this final uh, section. And of course, for my own personal choice, I've got the good old Michael Johnston voicing himself, Bloom, and Bridget, our once teacher, now soldier, with the power of good aptitude and thrusting strikes. Hopefully, they'll be enough. If not, uh, we might have another, you know, play Chronicles X situation, but I got faith in us. Let's bring an end to the Valkyria. Team, deploy! To the final battle! Miss Maria, we're coming! We won't hesitate this time. That's a promise. Now, if only annoying loading screens will go away, please. Stop killing my moments. It's almost morning. Mm-hmm. We're not waiting in vain, are we? Are we? Don't be impatient. There's still time. Our troops are in the ideal position right now. I can't wait to fight it. Looks like this is it. Here comes the Aurora Borealis. And when that happens, you it's know what happens. And there go the soldiers. Valkyria. You're going down for good this time. Foolish mortals who brandish powers beyond your means. I shall deliver you to your final destination. There's about an hour left until the sun rises. We have to stand our ground until then. Miss Maria! Okay then, so now I'm curious, is this actually going to be a timed mission then? Like literally an endurance run? If it's so... Oh boy, this is not going to end well. Also, I swear this is a long, long screen before the actual battle, I'm going to flip. Oh my lord. Oh well. Alright. Mannequin, let's go! Let's do this! Keep an eye on them! What do we have? Destruction is salvation. Level 70. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That's better than last time, at least. And now we count our, the tricks of the trade, so we can take advantage of things. For example, let's get over her. Or to here. On them. Initiate yes, impact free. Watch this! Take this! End this! Realize <laughs> your limit. Screw your earth rise. You ready? What are you looking at? Serve the enemy. Let us dance. Oh, blind me. Too I'll long Earth is countered by wind, so... Out oh, we went! We can do this! Come on! Uh-oh. No, no, no! This is gonna hurt! This is gonna hurt a lot! Oh, oh man! It's rich! Two, three! Gotcha! Holy! This is... Ridiculous! Okay! Let's try this again, please! Bang, bang, bang! What? Oh, you switched right! Let's do these! Okay, then, um... Fire! Burn, baby, burn, baby! Wait, wait, what am I doing? Oh, Amlet! You're the one with the fire technique! Use your freaking Inferno! I'll see if we can get that switch off! Oh! It's something! I despise the Empire. Burn them all! Yeah, that kind of works! Soul Harvest now! Now! 
I do not need a a freaking flashback from Final Fantasy Type Zero. No, 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 no. Now we just hit her physically. Uh, not the Azure Flames. What do you think? They blow up on contact like so, and they hurt me. That one hurts me. Yep, perfect timing. Flame burst, go! Not her action. Okay, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? Don't be a dumbass, don't be a dumbass, don't be a dumbass. Uh, let me get a little more distance, just so I don't- I don't blow- I don't want to get blown up, you know? That- that's kind that's kind of a bad thing. There we go. <laughs> Much better. I should have fired! Ay, 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 ay! There we go. Inferno! Mission over! Yeah, we're kind of working. A little bit. <laughs> Screw you and your magnets! Burn them all. I am not part of the refrigerator! Absorb the enemy. I am not interested in being right next to you, because then I'll probably die! Okay, so far so good! We got jump a very high big meter, so our actual attacks can't recover. No, 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 run, 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 run! I can't get her either. Okay, thank goodness. I thought he was right in front of us, like, what are you doing, you numbnuts? Uh, and here goes the freaking magnet. And you. Serene Hop. Oh. That's what I thought was. Oh no, not nice and No, 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 no. I will not fall! Come on, burn, 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 burn. Ground pressure. Oh, ground, like ground shaker, okay. That one I do get. Burn the ball! Beyond mortal. Burn them all! So far, so good. Uh, Assuming that's what Philly is singing? Trying to heal us up or something? Actually, no, it wouldn't be good, sir. It appears to Holy, okay. Nice. I got the chance, Ophelia. Let's go with some Storm Rise. Yeah, and then, have Bloom take care. Right, let's go chase her uh, wind. The enemy. Don't get sucked in so easily. Here we go. Perfect. Nice. That's how you use a homing attack. This is perfect. Now you gotta spam all oh, her marching goes bye bye. This is Incoming! Come on, alright! Out of the way! There you go. Oh, we're actually doing pretty decent so far. Take the pressure off! I was having a hard time, and yet somehow we are doing well. Although who knows, maybe this is just because it's first phase. Oh, we are luck. So I want to somehow get harder when it goes back to light. How do I get out of here? Thank you. And here comes the Azure. Constant vigilance. No, not flashbang. No, not vigilance. You got the grenades. Let's use them. Take this. Who's next? Oh, that actually did damage. Sir. No surprise. Oh, the second one. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Can we hit both? Yes, we can. Take this. Oh, we hit all three. Who's next? Nice. Oh, it's a pass, it looks like. Nice! No, get out of there, Amplite! Like. Woohoohoohoohoo! That was too close! Well, that was too close for comfort. Ooh, now I feel like a heart, though. Keep an eye on him. Check off the back. Bridget! Use your anger! Get revenge! I have to find guard. Uh, the gate charger, then. Don't look away. Nice! Are you ready? I'll show you. Keep an eye on them. Oh, no. Gotcha, me. Yeah! Look at And at this? Incoming! Watch it! Can't do anything else. Get her! Look at us, go! Look at us, go! 
beyond your means. You shall atone for that crime with your lives. But I suppose that I, too, must atone. It's not over yet. Uh. Ophelia, now! So this was your aim from the start, mortals! I told you not to use that power! 
You get past us first! Sunrise! Come on! Let's sing! Send your feelings to Jutland's savior! Give it all up for the goddess of victory! Oh, heaven, voices raised Aww. in faith. So they'd actually all sing at once. I oh, know they are, they are. Skies above, I send you my prayer of love. Oh, Withdraw. Yeah, that's not gonna happen this time. Impossible. How can it be this strong? As what we call the voice of the people. The Valkyria's weakening! This is it! Let's finish this! Now fight like an actual soldier, lady. For Jutland! For Jutland! For Jutland! I cannot lose here! A true warrior. Oh wait, no, you can actually do. Oh no, no, wait, that's right, that's her uh, slash attack. And that's it. Now's the real challenge. Beforehand, we can at least her bed. Uh, we can weaken her a bit using our elements. Now it is pure combat with a few uh, strikes in between. Actually, the other thing, uh, throw something in. Let's, let's find out. In this sheet? Yeah, it still works. Okay. You can't fall back on her magic. <laughs> Interruption! Again! Again! One more time! Listen to my song of repentance! I guess I move slower in here. Bending again. Nice try! Fall back! There we go! Screw your death weapon! There we go! That's what I was aiming for. Now I wonder. If it works. Let's use it all then. 
We can do this. Have we got super sniped? Nice. And there she falls. Just one for good measure. Here, have pick on the sheet. Alright, final one. And of course, they're not making moves. Like it always does. Alright, we're halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! What are you looking at? At bully! Do not resist oh, but there we go. That actually works. Taste my blade! I can bring out the magic. experience, which won't mean much, but I guess will help in a new game plus sort of sense. Accelerate, that's what I got. Boy, don't I already have one of those? Uh, no, Ignition is what I have. And Accelerate is the uh, improved version. Ooh, an RP cost down, stats boost up. Nice. A little bit more fitting if they gave us to that, you know, right after we finished her off in that one blow instead of the uh, first phase. Just putting that out there. Hamlet. Uh, Miss Maria. So, that's her. <gasps> Hamlet! Captain! Everyone, please. I need to do this on my own. <laughs> hmm. This has happened before. Maria only gains control when the Valkyria's weak. If she's going to die, I should be the one to do it on my own. But she's like your mother, your mentor, and you accept it? 
Yeah, I don't know how anyone could fight someone they love. That's the reason why it has to be me. <sighs> Ophelia, keep up the Galder. But Amlet... Ophelia, we need to see this through to the very end. I'm gonna free you from the Valkyria's curse! Thank you. Miss Maria! Dirge of the Valkyria Medal. Huh. Again, would have been better if it were placed somewhere differently, but I guess it works. I guess. Miss Maria! <laughs> Miss Maria. You've grown so much. <laughs> Thank you for this. You made this with everyone, didn't you? It's beautiful. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. It's all right, Hamlet. I've taken many lives as the Valkyria. I must atone for what I've done. That's why I wished for this to happen. No. I'm sorry. I made you do something so painful. But I'm glad in a way. I get to spend my last moments with you. Thank you for that. Please, Miss Maria, don't die. We've missed you so much. Solomon, Basil. Freak, Violet. They're all waiting for you. Oh, I want to see them, too. I'm sure they've grown into wonderful adults. Just like you. They're doing much better than me. Saul's a politician. Basil's rich. Vi's a secret agent. And Freak made it as a writer. Please, don't go. Don't leave us again. Smile, Amlet. I've always loved everyone's smiles. Please, would you? <laughs> there. That look suits you better. It was a bit more mischievous back then, though. Miss Maria... 
Live strong, Hamlet. Happily. With everyone. I will. We're not done yet. Time to take care of the Emperor. Ah, yes. You know what that means? Ultimate payback! <laughs> oh, man. Can't be. Is he already dead? This isn't fair. <sighs> Mission's over. Let's go home. Wait, you're not even gonna do a double tap? Nothing? You know, it's reason like this why sequels happened in the first place. You don't decide to test it, him, see if he's still alive, and guess what? Oh boy, he is alive! At last. Aye, aye, aye. It is all over. No. Not yet. There's still one more thing to do. Come on. Is it about time? No, I, I, I guess not. <sighs> and I guess for once the burning boy and the gentle girl don't hit it off. Oh, what, what quite a twist. September 15th, the war that lasted roughly one year between the Kingdom of Jutland and the Ruzi Empire had ended. And they do this to us. A fragment death of the Emperor was added to the history book. Okay, I guess now's the perfect time to do a uh, save over. I guess once we go and talk to the storyteller one final time, that's it. Alright then. This is a true story. Yes, you said that 10,000 times already! Seriously.
At least out of a, you come out of a little extra variety, you know? Because you have... Now, allow me to explain. This is a true story. I think this will be like two lines you actually utter whenever you go back to the storybooks, in fact. Yeah, for, that, for certain, those will be the only two times they... Ugh. That kind of annoys me! I stand before you to declare that the Kingdom of Jutland has achieved victory in our battle against the Ruzi Empire. Ruse has formally surrendered to Jutland. Its delegates are requesting the immediate negotiation of a new peace treaty. We fought under a banner of liberation for all who suffered the unjust embargo, and we have won. The war is over. Twas the necessary first step toward ushering in a new era, both for this great nation and for its worthy citizens. And now, my beloved subjects, I have decided to return the countries annexed throughout the war back into the hands of their respective peoples. Furthermore, I pledge to show empathy and forgiveness during the upcoming negotiations with Ruse. Your the Highness, right breakout. are you saying we're relinquishing all the land and resources we obtained during the war? But we won! What was the point then? Please listen. I understand all of your feelings, I do. However, should we continue down this path, we would be no different than the Empire we fought so hard to overcome. This is Jutland's own revolution. But this isn't what we want. Besides, it's nothing other countries do. Conquering is bad, but so's being a doormat. Yeah, <laughs> the two are wildly different. <sighs> there truly is no other way. Everyone, this is a harsh reality, but you deserve to know the entire truth. There is something more I must tell you. We, the people of Jutland, have no right to enjoy the resources taken from the other nations. What does she mean? Unbeknownst to the royal court, this war was instigated by the unlawful self-interests of a select few conspirators. They dragged the kingdom and its citizens into war. And as a result, our acquisition of other lands is inherently unjust. What? You mean someone staged the whole war? How could anyone do such a thing? I hereby indict Captain Amlet Groncare. Alongside Councilman Solomon Collenberg, Mr. Basil Sabanchi, Mr. Freet Erickson, and Lieutenant Violet Sand. This circle of five stands accused of high treason. How can that... What is the meaning of this? It's obvious, isn't These it? These saboteurs secretly colluded to escalate international tension and promote conflict without the Crown's permission. By inciting violence, they created this state of affairs. All for a plot to take control of the nation for themselves. But while the outset of the war was caused by their schemes, the fact still remains that we rose up in a time of crisis. Their crimes do not diminish our right to fight for freedom. Thus, there was nothing wrong with moving toward liberation. But we were manipulated! 
My son! He died for you! That is precisely why we need to hold them accountable. They must answer for the lives lost to their selfish gains. Did you know about this, Your Highness? <sighs> Nay, I knew not. To be deceived and exploited by my own royal subjects. Words cannot express my regret. Therefore, I vow before you all, I charge them here and now to bear the brand of traitor for their unjust plot and the war crimes committed thence. We shall put these five to trial, judge them by our own hands, and thus make redress to a world wronged. Take these traitors away! Ophelia, the people are most unsettled. Do you not have any words of comfort to offer them? Everyone, a glorious new dawn has arisen over the kingdom. Lest we forget, this victory was obtained by our hands. Let us be proud of that fact and walk side by side toward Jutland's bright and shining future. Together. A few days after Amlet and the others were apprehended, it said they stood before the courts. They were tried for the two charges of instigating a war of aggression and high treason. During the trials, the secret deals Solomon made with the Brennish ambassador were all brought to light. However, all that information was leaked to the justice system by the Five and Ophelia. It can't be. They themselves created crimes on purpose so they could be judged? On the day of the ruling, Amlet Grandcare, I hereby sentence you to death. Solomon Collenberg, I hereby sentence you to death. Basil Sabanchi, I hereby sentence you to death. Freet Erickson, I hereby sentence you to death. Violet Sand, I hereby sentence you to death. I like that I send you to death line was just repeated over and over again with the, uh, what the first, uh, with the names actually just thrown in front. Like, insert name here, I sentence you to death. I don't know why, it just feels kind of stilted there. Like, they didn't put much effort into it. Into it. They could at least put some kind of different emotional tinges inside that were noticeable. But that's just me. Your Highness, the verdict... It is all right, Miranda. I knew what the outcome would be. The execution of the five traitors was done on the same day. And we now know how the circle ends. Here lie the circle of five, whose vengeful actions brought forth an inferno of war. With their execution, 
the blood of the brave legions is redeemed, and a just peace born. They rest eternally in the land of their birth, by the grace of the Holy Mother. Yes. This gravestone itself tells the truth of the traitors. This is what you've been searching for, how these five became traitors. Huh. This was all told to my great-great-grandmother from Ophelia herself. Question is now, who was her grandmother? Was it actually Miranda? Or somebody completely outside of the lines? I have an idea. What do you propose? They're right. We can safely assume people will rebel over this decision. They may even come after the royal family. If this war has shown us anything, it's that public opinion can change in an instant. Even if they hail her as the savior, if their lifestyle becomes endangered, they will turn against her. If they do, they'll go after the most obvious target. You, Ophelia. I am in a... I'm prepared for that outcome. No. We can't risk Jutland's savior. Then what shall we do? Pin it on a scapegoat. Us. <sighs> Direct Jutland's anger at us. Declare us war criminals. Rebels who started a war and manipulated the country for their own selfish purposes. But that's... The only way. Yeah, I agree. It's better if we make that move. It's the best call. This absolutely cannot happen. I won't allow it! It's fine. This settles all the lingering loose ends. <sighs> you said we were traitors. There need to be consequences for our actions. Won't you give us this opportunity to atone? But thanks to you, the people... Surely they'll be grateful, not, not accuse you. You're too kind, Princess. But we won't be satisfied if we let the chips fall that way. But if I do something like that... Yes. It will end exactly how you think. <sighs> I have to announce something terrible, don't I? Please. <sighs> Ophelia. You'll do it? Thank you. I have one more request. Yes. Molda once belonged to Jutland. I want you to keep the land as it is now. And bury us there. Your graves? Let us sleep eternally beneath the same sky we stood under as children. Aww. Now that's heart-wrenching. Be buried alongside their childish selves. And in a sense, the people that died in the same place. When their vengeance was born. They chose to die. Isn't it pointless if you die after getting your revenge? They didn't desire to be understood. What they desired was most likely forgiveness. And that was granted by Ophelia. <sighs> what will you do? Will you share this with someone? If I stay silent, they'll remain traitors to the country. Their honor will continue to be trampled upon. But if I speak up, that isn't something they'd want. They'd want to remain as the evil who started a selfish war. So that's the truth I've been searching for.
Afterward, Jutland merged only with Molde. It returned to the territory it once was in 1843. The lands Jutland had seized during the war were returned as reparations to their original countries, including Ipseria. And now, we'll have a brand new king. <laughs> uh, see if I won't get to see Emma and the others. Laertes returned to Epsaria shortly after. He ruled Epsaria as the one-armed king. From his conversations with Ophelia and Amlet, Laertes found the path that he wished to walk. He heeded his people, listened to them, walked beside them. He became a wise ruler, who brought prosperity to Epsaria. The Rusi Empire relinquished its lands, including its capital, to Jutland, Jutland, however, demanded otherwise. The lands were restored to their original countries. Even so, Ruse was sizable and continued to call itself an empire. However, its power eventually declined. After the war, the map of Europa was redrawn on a grand scale. I believe it. This tiny place and its memories that they cherished. You should understand how hard Queen Ophelia strove to build the country we now have. Now that you know the truth, I'm sure you can. There we go. That's Valkyria Revolution. And, aw oh man! That's only that would be the Venus cast, you know. Kind of uh, resolve a few doubts within me. But yeah, that's it. And sure enough, it's a fitting ending. It's a beginning to the end. You now know why it all happened, how... But a few surprises thrown in between. Well, I gotta see. It was pretty good. Despite a few quirks in the road, this is definitely a game I can still recommend. However, it definitely is, you know, despite only being released a couple months ago, and by the time this comes out, uh, it's pretty dated. Like, where do I begin? Well, for stars, load screens. This is a next generation PS4 console capable of running games like Final Fantasy XV with next to no loading screens, and yet this game was completely otherwise. It was remastered from a different, uh, like from a PSP game, but it definitely shows how unfitting it is, and that probably can just sum up my entire feeling about this game, because, yeah, it, it feels like it's dated by today's standards. Between loading screens, uh, still the character models, like, if you've noticed any of the cutscenes, like, over and over again during the, uh, well, whenever you're talking to the Empire, or the Sea, or to the Five Shares, you notice motions that are just completely unnatural. 
Yeah, someone go look for his animation game development degree in college. I can, I can honestly say that I can tell that. You know, the worst animator of all time. Just putting that out there. And you're going back. I don't know why, but it's kind of this old gradient charm. You know how in the original Valkyria Chronicles there was that little weird little like line lines. They're kind of big. It also had a you know, bit of black and white, as if they weren't they're just being drawn from a color book. I kind of missed that a little bit. You know, great big a sequel or not a sequel, but a spin-off. I guess they would change things up a little bit, but I know it's a little jarring. But yeah, when it comes to that's probably the uh, most confusing thing in the game. I really think that the presentation is probably the uh, worst part of it. Part I don't like the most about this game, and I also never pay attention to the actual detail of cutscene. Yeah, I usually don't pay attention to that stuff. But otherwise, the gameplay is great. I did enjoy that, even during the grinding when it became a bit tedious. It was still fun to, you know, kind of do things in different fight. The story was alright. The beginning is pretty slow, kind of like Kingdom Hearts 2, but it gets better. By the time Dodo dies, I'd say it definitely escalates a lot higher, maybe with a few bumps in the middle. The whole world just gets better and better. And back to the I love the variety of, you know, spells, or fragments, or whatever you want to call it in case, where it's not just based on elements, but rather in, like, different types of, uh, attacks. You know, fire and ice bolts, you know, shoot and work on attack, tidal waves, uh, open bullets. I love that kind of variety of games. I wish that the original Black Bear Gold was kind of similar. Well, maybe that's why we had that scene with Black Bear Gold, which had a spin-off. I think that's the whole moment. It works! It definitely seems like game breaking now. Well, so, gotta give power credits to, I guess. And, yeah, I guess that's about it. The music's alright, can be get a real little repetitive of certain missions. Uh, and the, uh, background, like the, like the design, it's alright. Feels a bit dated by today's standards, but, you know, it's. It's only small compared to everything else. Is this a game I'd recommend picking up? Maybe? Because the thing is with this game, like, I'd say this is kind of even less of, less prominent than the experiences. Where at least that game had good gameplay. Uh, you know, with an alright story. Or in this game's case, you know, it's kind of, like, in the middle for me. Like, despite all the comments in this case, the story. Uh, but it's kind of middle ground for, like, newcomers to the series. Definitely should be the first game in the Valkyria Chronicles series, without question. But maybe yeah, it's just a fun, kind of relaxed bit kind of game. Yeah, maybe, maybe try it out. You might like it. It can't get a bit repetitive if you're going for grinding, but, you know, that's nothing new. And I think it's going to be a bit of grinding, you know, fighting, you know, spells again, and like... So it might just work for you guys, you never know. But yeah, if, if anything else, maybe pick it up by renting, maybe just go play it at a friend's house, I don't know. Like, let's put it, let's put it this way. This game took me a hundred hours, you know, when you include all the core time, obviously, and the grinding time. I don't even know how much time we would be up to if I hadn't even done any grinding period. Like, that kind of scares me, but... You know, that all depends on you. So, yeah, and I guess with that, we're done here. As for the next thing I'll get to doing, well, we're going to, for, I'm actually, or I guess, sort of for the first time, uh, I'm going to try a game that's actually kind of, you know, a few weeks old by the point, this point in time, you know, for the PS4. Very, very, uh, late, from like a, a year or two ago, I can't remember how long it was. What is the game? I can say, but I can tell you this much, it just barely got a remastering, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it out for myself, seeing as I don't have much experience with it other than, well, a few outs by uh, communities and source. And after that, hopefully I'll have my brand new kind of series coming out. My uh, original thing that's actually, you'll be surprised about what it is when it comes out, maybe. And of course, after that, finally hang back to Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep, get that finished up, put it on the bookshelf, and then 
then move on to the rest of the series. And thankfully, it seems like a three stay uh, roll from here because there's not too many RPGs coming out as of late. And I don't like to tackle any games that are already a little later, like uh, Persona 5 or Guilty Gear or the or like. At least not now. Uh, but yeah, either way, guys, that's it for Valkyria Revolution. Thank you guys so much for enjoying watching this entire series from beginning to end. If you have enjoyed this final episode, of course, as always, make sure to give it the biggest like and comment rating that you can down below. Let me know your favorite moments were in the series, maybe your least favorite moments. What annoyed you? What made you feel great? All that, let me know down below. And of course, if you are new to your channel and want to see more games like Valkyria Revolution as they come out daily, along with any other things I decide to throw into the mixture that is my YouTube channel. Make sure you have subscribed and join the Dreadnights and myself, Smiling 4 in our quest to protect the video gaming universe one game at a time. But hey, until next time, this is Smiling 4 signing out. So, have a great your day, take care, and if this is all, we'll join over to MCU for the end card slate, and I'll catch you guys for another video. Thank you for... Sega, get done a little better, but thank you for what you've done. I'm very, very happy about this. Learn the truth of the traitors. Completing the game unlocked various features. Talk to Rochelle again to resume play from the finale. Ooh, that's pretty neat. New Game Plus can now be accessed at the Tombstone. Visit the Tombstone of the Grave of the Five to begin a new cycle of the story, which carries over character information and their belongings. Begin a new cycle will tell the tale anew. Squadmates who have died will be alive again. Oh, that's right, that was a thing, wasn't it? People that died are permanently dead. Even though I never ran into that despite having a game over once. Just returned and did it, and it's all fine. Since this wipes the story's progress, certain elements unlocked post-game will be unplayable. Oh! Go to now be used in missions! The fragment of those who walked the road to rule was added to the history book. The fragment of secrets was added to the history book, yada yada, glossary's updated. Okay. Well, now I want to see this. This is a true Before we actually head over to the Encar slate, as a final send-off, let's see what ha what continues off. Do we just get put right back at the Operation Saver's song right before the Valkyria fight? And if so, how does this Godot play thing play into it? Okay, so we're right back here. Enhanced blueprints have been out drafted for the alchemic weaponry. Okay, so there are more things you post game. And as for this, um, I'm assuming we go to stats. Yep, they're both playable. That is very jarring, actually. I'm assuming Marina's still gonna be there anyway. Let's go to the headquarters first. Just just to see how that how that works. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Yep, sure enough Miranda's still there. Need something? What uh what happens after that? Is there something you need? The change of ruling powers through tactical missions will now occur on all maps. Wait, what? World map effort game clear. After completing the main story, all territories on the world may become targets for conquest through tactical missions. Wait, what? So seeing that these tactical missions will make it possible to gain control over places like Savas and Cavaltis, okay. 
However, this also makes it possible that every place but Jutland would become Ruzi territory, keeping an even closer eye on Imperial movements. I think a new, a little uh, addition to this. That gives you more reason to actually do these things. Let's see here. And we actually begin this from be from the beginning then? You guys get the cutscene for this, obviously. Because I don't want to endure this again. You don't need we don't need to see all this. You guys saw this last time. And I like how I said this would be. I really am I'm really curious. I'm really curious. Skip the event, yada yada. Yep, they're both they're both choosable. And that really makes me curious. Yeah, sure enough, his thing's completely cleared out. They share the same uh, rings, and obviously. But now let me. There's the other question. Do they share the exact same battle palette? If we go to Basil's factory and want to enhance our blueprints or whatever, we'll get the same thing. Or do we have to start his from scratch? Yo! What do you want? I know, I wanna see. How do I do this? Here we go. Yep, come on. Okay. That is interesting. Hmm. It's a bit jarring, but interesting. See ya. Well, alright then, guys. I think that truly ends it off then. Bit of a weird way to abruptly end the series, but... It is what it is. Actually, no, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea what we can do. Let's return to Rochelle. And see that, uh... One of those new cuts cutscenes that uh, pops up. And then we'll have it end there. There's a big... Mystery. Oh well, yeah, that thing changed the sunset now. Uh, permanent new change. I like that. Subtle, but awesome. So if we go over to... Oh, now Rochelle, uh... You now challenge story missions again from the history book. Okay. That's cool. You're quite studious. So we go to the, f the finale of the many. traitors. Death of the Emperor. Alright then, let's find out how this all happened. And once this cutscene is done, let's actually fall throw it to MTU for our end card slate. Now with that said, catch you guys next time. We, I, manage to live. At last, I am satisfied.